Global insulin system flood. That's it. Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. Clear your mind while I bring you out. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So what differentiates this set of results, then? Why would they be so inaccurate compared to the others? Well, I don't know for sure. You can guess, though. I can guess. So guess, Einstein. Well, in all of these tests, the subjects were largely immobile, experiencing, let's call them armchair memories. Christmas days, relaxing holidays, that kind of thing. So what, they weren't emotionally engaged with the memory? Oh, no, they were emotionally engaged, very much so. But they weren't doing much. What are you saying? Physical activity in the memory affects the accuracy of the Pandora. It certainly seems to. But I think it's more than that. This is pure speculation at this point. You understand? Go on. I think the accuracy of the Pandora may have a direct correlation to the adrenaline levels in the subject. So we can improve results with adrenaline shots? Assuming I'm correct, yes. But if my idea works, we may not need to administer it at all. We find a way to get the subjects to produce it themselves. Exactly. And I think I know how. 